Today, guys, we're solving a problem. To all of you cocktail bartenders that never know what to do every time they get asked for a spin on the Ryan Coke and the only idea that you have is to reach for the bottle of bourbon instead of rye, well today I think I got an answer for you. We're gonna turn this into something that's actually pretty good. So that will be my contribution to the bartender society. You'll thank me later. If you guys are ready, let's do it. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you very much for joining us again for this new cocktail video. So, time for the big reveal. The ingredient that will change your life as a bartender is... Kinoto. This famous Italian sparkling beverage comparable to Coca-Cola, but to my opinion, much, much better. It is made out of a fruit called the Kinoto, which is kind of a hybrid between a mandarin and a bitter orange, but the fruit itself is just not eatable. That's why it's always transformed into something like a jam, a marmalade, infused into alcohol, or in this case, used to flavor a delicious sparkling beverage with a hint of bitterness, which is, when you think about it, kind of the DNA of the Italian beverage. And there's a lot of different brands out there, so today let me introduce you to my two favorite ones. My favorite one is this one, the Luricia. I don't know if I pronounce it well, but anyway, you can see it from the bottle, so you should be able to find it back. This one is simply amazing. It is bitter, sweet, and a very cool fact about this particular brand, they use a process called the Savona slow food process to make it, which is kind of the eco-friendly way to make the Kinoto. It is a high-end product, but like everything that's high hand, it comes with a price tag. It's about two or three dollars a bottle, but believe me, it is worth it. On the other hand, if you cannot find this one, there's a beautiful alternative called the Neri. It is also very good. I tried both in the cocktail and the cocktail turned out delicious both ways. So now, fun fact about the Kinoto. When Coca-Cola took over globally, uh, Kinoto became quite lame in Italy. And because now pretty much every bartender feel that anything that's mixed with Coke is also lame, I thought it would be the perfect timing to give back its former glory to the Kinoto by using this in a riff on the rye and Coke. And I called it the Cold Cola. So if you guys are ready, we're gonna start with one ounce of Amaro Montenegro. We're gonna pour that into our shaker. Then we're gonna add three quarters of an ounce of bourbon. And half an ounce of freshly squeezed lemon juice. So now we're going to fill our shaker with ice and because we don't want too much dilution, we're just going to give a quick shake. All we want is to chill it down a bit and mix all the ingredients together. So now we're going to place a lemon wheel in the bottom of the glass. And we're gonna place our beautiful clear ice cube on top of it. And we're gonna pour the cocktail over the ice. I don't know if you remember guys, but I got this beautiful ice stem from Atmos Ice Press. And because it's the first time that I use a clear cube since then, I thought it would be the perfect timing to use it. And if you guys are interested in ice stem, I'm gonna link them in the description down below. So I'm gonna make my stem here. And now you can top it with about two ounces of your favorite Kinoto. And this is it guys, this is how I make the cold cola, the cocktail that will change your life for the next time someone will ask you for a freaking riff on the Ryan Coke. So now let's give it a try. Mm. Mm. 
It is fresh, hearty, with a hint of bitterness. Then the lemon balanced the sugar from the Kinoto and the Amaro. By the way, I used Montenegro because I wanted to add some texture that may be lacking from the Kinoto if you want to have that feeling of a rich, syrupy soft drink like the Coca-Cola, for example. And then the amount of bourbon is a little low, but still very present in taste and really makes you feel like you're having some kind of an elevated version of the classic Ryan Coke. It's not lame anymore. I love it. I hope you will love it too. So that's it for me today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Hit the like and the bell if you want to be notified when we post a new cocktail video. Until then, thank you very much again. Have a great day and see you very soon. Cheers. Mm.